hello it's Erin with the joy and pens and paper I am going to do a March setup so my setup is exceptionally simple and um, it's just a few few easy steps so the first thing that I'm going to do is uh, March has 31 days so I'm gonna write 31 to 1 I start from the end and work my way backwards should have checked this pen before I started writing with it. So I am recording this on Friday the 24th. And it is the end of my vacation week. It was not a productive vacation week, but I'm doing a lot of reflecting and allowing myself the grace to have taken the time to rest because the fact that I wasn't productive, that to me is my body and my mind's way of telling me I, rest was more important. But that also means that I need to take some of the things that I was going to do during this week and I need to think about um, how I'm going to manage my time going forward to get those things done. So that'll be fine. All right, so the first day of March is a Wednesday. So I do find that I end up referencing these days of the week. So they have been very helpful to add in my son had a friend over today it was really nice um, the the boys went outside and played even though it was really cold but they went into the woods and um, kind of trekked around for a little bit. And then they came in and because they were cold, um, my son really wanted hot chocolate, which we only had one packet of hot chocolate. And uh, so I said, well, we could do hot tea and he wasn't interested. So I said, well, what about hot lemonade? And then he decided that he was going to make from scratch hot cocoa so he got out his cooking book and put his friend um, to work and they made homemade hot chocolate um, and of course he chose a complicated <laughs> recipe where um, there was chocolate bombs to make little chocolate balls to put in the freezer that would go in to melt and really that's what would become the hot chocolate is you put the um, chocolate balls into hot milk and it melts and you know there there's your hot chocolate but it needed to be in the freezer for three hours and he had about 20 minutes before I had to take him to a track and field camp that he did this week. Um, so we improvised and instead of having the chocolate um, that he made freeze, we just spooned it into some hot milk and um, they added their chocolate to taste and then we took the extra and put it into a silicone mold and uh, so that's in the freezer now for future hot chocolates. So that was nice. And then my son had the last day of his track and field camp today. Um, and I will tell you, it was kind of a beast getting him through this week. He was not pleased whatsoever about 
this track and field camp and uh, specifically there was a um, jump that didn't come naturally to him and he was really frustrated and and I will acknowledge I found myself as the parent getting very frustrated at his lack of resiliency and um, as I was trying to talk him through it he was countering every point I made with negativity and that really was a struggle for me I don't do well with um, I don't do well with that I don't do well with it personally I don't do well with it professionally um, people that work with me know that um, and I think for some it becomes kind of a joke that uh, I am all for venting you can vent to me how, however often that you need but if you're not coming to vent and you're just coming to complain slash expose barriers without providing recommendations or solutions I shut down and uh, I'm not here for that conversation. I, um, I find that it's, it's exhausting for me and um, it takes away my ability to move things forward. So um, I mean, it's certainly something that I'm working on personally, but I also do want to give myself some grace that it, that's also something the other individual or individuals need to work on is being solution oriented and not just you know complaining to complain um, and what I often will tell people is that um, if you are able to say you know this doesn't make sense or why do we do it this way the way that the human brain works is it's pretty likely that your brain automatically goes to why don't we do it this way or why didn't we do this? And so what I will tell people is that's what I wanna hear. Share with me those thoughts because I can do something with that. Um, and so I struggled with having these conversations with my own son um, and found myself shutting down. And so I kind of tapped in my husband at that point and said, I need, I need your help because I'm not being productive. All right, so, um, I guess I kind of flipped that. I'll add folding back in. I fold my clothing um, the Marie Kondo way. <laughs> my husband does not fold that way. So if folding is gonna, if my clothes are gonna be folded, I do it, which is why I have that on there. Um, my husband's phenomenal. He does the majority of the rest of the folding. I will. If I'm folding my things, obviously I'm going to fold whatever else is there, but um, I'm the only one that folds my own clothes. I'm also going to add on here uh, research and articles. So those were two things that I was really hoping to make a lot more progress on this week, but I just didn't have the energy, the drive to do it. Um, and it probably would not have been productive to force myself to do it. So I'm going to try to see if I can even allocate 30 minutes to an hour, you know, let's say five days a week to reading articles and or researching. Um, so I'm going to add it on there. Now, the, the pen that I'll be doing my tracking with this month because I just color in the squares is uh, the Mahjong M2 and it's inked up with Robert Oster, Robert Oster, River of Fire. Um, I apologize. I have a little bit of a cold so I keep wiping up my nose and then realizing that the wetness is on my hand. That's really gross but I'm at home right? I can wash my hands. Um, all right so this is going to be March 2023. Here we go. 
And that is my monthly setup. So just reflecting back on this month, I do my productivity up here, meaning everything I check off of my to-do list, the first 10 items I fill in a box. I try to hit at least 10 a day. And then my habits I color in when I do them. Um, and you can definitely see as I started out strong at the beginning of the month and then as it went on, I got more and more sparse. Um, again, that's indicative of my energy level. If I were to go back and look at um, December, there's my December tracker that's in Birmingham Pen Company, Pennsylvania Fieldstone. And my January tracker, I did a two different colors, but there's my January tracker and February and now March. All right, um, so short and sweet to the point. Uh, thank you for watching and um, I hope you have a wonderful month. Uh, please feel free to put in the comments some things that you're hoping to work on for yourself for building in some habits. Um, and I'm happy to encourage uh, if that's what you would like. All right, thanks. Bye.